A few days ago, I got dumped out of nowhere. No explanation, nothing. The job I'd been so excited for wasn't panning out the way I hoped. Wasn't keeping promises to myself. I felt like a complete loser. So I couldn't do anything right. But that reminded me of a scene that the first time I saw it moved something deep inside me. And watching it again gave me a whole new perspective on it. It's the first set against Inarizaki, and everything Tanaka tries isn't working. His spikes get blocked, he's freezing up, and then reality hits him. And we've all had this. Just like Tanaka, we all carry such high aspirations. We secretly view ourselves as geniuses, but then we see others around us doing better. We see our own failures, and it's hard to keep pushing. We get a sense of nothing but average. But what do we learn from Tanaka? I counted eight mistakes in that first set alone. That's enough to make anyone doubt themselves to the point of giving up. But instead of feeling sorry for himself and quitting, what does he say? To my average self, do you really have time to be looking down like that? And I fucking love that. What if, instead of spending all this time thinking about all the reasons we can't do this and can't do that, we just picked ourselves up and took that next step? No matter how small it might be, it might be daunting, but what's actually stopping you from taking the next step? Nothing. And of course, that's easier said than done. And it feels like you've got countless experiences supposedly showing that that step will be meaningless. And that is why the shot 10 seconds later is one of my all time favorites. Despite everything, Tanaka still has the courage to call for the ball at set point. And how could you not feel inspired by that? If you can do the same and keep taking those next steps despite everything, and whatever it is, your social life, your work, your goals, whatever it may be, then you are definitely not average, my friend.